Hello YouTube, it's me and today I'm going to be doing a review on my Y-King John Deere 6210R because I know a lot of you is, have asked me to do a review on it and I just haven't had time to do it because I've been farming in real life so, on to the review so let's just start off with the box this is quite a nice box, it's quite plain when you get it, it's got the um styrene I think it is that holds it in and makes it quite sturdy because without it, it is quite flimsy and breakable so yeah and then we've got John Deere the picture here and then at the bottom you've got metal plastic 132 14 plus John Deere and John Deere 6010 R then Viking Viking on the top same on the side as the front, other side, and then on the back, you've got information about the tractor. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Then uh, here you've got more information like overall length and all that stuff. And then that's the same as the top in different languages. So that's pretty much that. Here's the tractor. The reason why I brought this tractor is because I use one of these in real life and it's quite a nice tractor. So, start off for detail. This is very good for detail. You can see on the front you've just got the John Deere logo, two lights there, the little lights, and then the grill guard. And then, in the if you take off the bonnet there, you can. Sorry about that guys, the um, stand that's holding up my camera fell, which was quite annoying. So yep, yeah, as I was saying, you got some very good engine detail, you probably can't see it that well. I'm not sure if you can, how well you can see it, but some very good engine detail. Close the bonnet, then underneath. It's quite a good... Oh, it's reasonable underneath there. This side. Take one, just hold it. It looks very good. And then the back it looks much better than any other model like Brins or CQ. I'll get to the back later. Then the front, the main side that you see, very good. So. Onto the back, you've got a very realistic looking hitch which goes up and down, goes up quite high like that and then down and then this goes down and up. You can get an adapter to fit Seiko items on but I don't have that yet because I don't really need it. Then you've got quite a realistic hitch, just put this little pin, fits in and out. But the only thing is, it doesn't always fit into all your model um, equipment. So yeah, in the cab, the cab has got quite, quite nice. As you can see, it's even got, if you look there in the background behind the person's head, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's even got CB and radio right there. Not sure if you can see it, which is pretty good. The cab is very nice. You've got all your um I forgot what it's called. Um the things that you push forward to move the tractor, stopping in reverse. The other side, very nice, you've got all your consoles and everything. And as you know with most Viking models. with the windows and doors open. This person doesn't come with the model, I just put him in there because it just looks better. So yeah, close that up. It also comes with this front weight, which is very detailed and reasonable, also good weight for a weight. Little pin hook there which cannot be removed. Two things that attach on and then the top, it just attaches on very easily. 
break. So, I'll just quickly show you the attaching. It attaches like so. You just take that out, then pop it in, and there you go. Thanks for watching this. Bye.